As expected, they have confirmed Limbo Prime will be coming on June the 19th, the Gilded Cataclysm. Don't know which part of that it will be. They are also confirming that the Destreza Prime and the Pyrana Prime are going to be his weapons. This was kind of expected because with that whole data mining thing we won't talk about ever again. There, that kind of came across it and it was everybody before that was guessing and uh, I'll admit I was really hoping it wasn't going to be the Destreza Prime, it would have been the other one. Because it looks like it still has the two blades. But the Pyrona Prime makes perfect sense. I was hoping it would be the Magnus because... That would have been massively unexpected, but it's not. It's the Pyrana, which is still perfectly fine because both of which are still pretty decent weapons. Limbo Prime himself, that's a whole nother topic of, yeah. <laughs> People still wish they'd gone for any other Prime frame for this, but it was going to happen eventually anyway. His Prime accessories is going to be the Oblivia Prime Sandana and the Rift Walker Prime Sigil. Not sure it depends on how well the Prime Sandana looks on other frames. I know it's going to be classed as Limbo Prime Signature Sandana and all that, but the fact it's just a sigil was also kind of expected because the past few Prime accessories has also been kind of huge. Still comes with a 90 day affinity booster and a 90 day credit booster. I would still love to see resource but credit and affinity are way more useful anyway. And to be honest, it, none of it actually looks that bad. Limbo looks pretty much exactly as expected with the, the better, I want to say helmet but let's just say his hat. Because that's the the picture that I had in my head, and I'm not sure if it came from fan art or what it was, but that's what I expected, and when those leaked pictures came out, it was like, well, does he have the right helmet? It's not as I expected it, but it is very close. And the fact that it looks like the Prime Armor, instead of it being a part of his Prime accessories, is just built into his shoulders, actually does look like a pretty decent frame. And with this coming on June 19th, that's kind of a fixed thing, console and PC. I'm assuming it would be console as well, nothing actually says it's not. And the Prime stuff drops on both at roughly the same time. So PC will be getting the sacrifice this week. When? We don't know, just sometime this week. Hopefully they don't rush it out and it's full of bugs like that. Onslaught issue that was there for like two weeks of it was playable but was perfectly fine but you had to put a squad together and all leave at the same time otherwise bad things could happen hopefully the sacrifice to keep a hold of it for a day or two and make sure it's not completely perfect there'll still be bugs but with that coming this week and limbo coming the week after I know that they did say something about the first six months was all quality of life stuff. Hopefully this means there's a lot more good stuff coming soon after. But it has now left the question of, is it going to be Neja Prime that's next? Or is it going to be Chroma Prime? Chroma's top of the list of what people would really like to see. But it now makes sense why it's Limbo. Because... With there not being many updates, if they released uh, Chroma this close to a big update with the sacrifice coming this week, yeah, it would have just kind of sat in the background and it's, well, there's an update the week before. Whereas they can save Chroma for when they haven't got anything else to, no big releases coming up. I am kind of hyped for both, because Limbo is not that bad of a frame and the sacrifice is going to bring Umbra, maybe. Still don't know if it's going to be an actual frame or just a skin, we'll find out sometime this week. But with a Prime coming after, a lot of stuff coming in the next few weeks. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.